Hello friends, welcome to Inside Cycle Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Garbini GA2 AI model. So now first, we will try to understand what things we are going to discuss in this video, that is video components. After that, we will try to understand so about these things in detail. First, let us try to understand the context, why it is in news. So what is this artificial intelligence model and how it is going to be helpful. Then what is the gestational age? Actually, this Garbini, this GA2, it is going to help in determining which, I mean, what is the age of the fetus, okay. In that context, we will discuss about what is the meaning of gestational age. Then, features of this application, like who developed this application and which organization is behind this application and what are the challenges associated with the existing models and how this model is going to so solve those such kind of problems. Then significance of Garbini J2, this artificial intelligence model and in this video we will discuss about some of the keywords related to this gestational health such as infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate and so children below the age of 5 and there are certain other parameters are there we are going to discuss. And finally at the end of this video we will discuss about national family health survey that is the and so how many times it was done and the organization which conducts national family health survey. We will discuss about all this information in this particular video. First we will see regarding the this you know like gestational cycle. So gestational cycle it includes from the day one that means the day when this menstrual cycle stops to the woman till the baby delivery day. So the days in between from that first day to till the baby delivery all this comes under the gestational so cycle. Now first the context why we are discussing about this particular Garbini this GA2 this Garbini GA2 is a India specific artificial intelligence model okay it is an artificial intelligence model and this model is going to help and determine in gestational age of the fetus that means in which age the fetus is so that that kind of care can be taken towards the fetus as well as towards the mother as well okay regarding that compared to the present models this Garbini GA2 this model is going to offer a wide range of solutions and present models we are using these the present models whatever the models we are using these models developed based on the European standards now this is going to be the India this is going to be based on Indian standards so so it is going to offer the better better outcome in all the ways we'll see accurate gestational age it can helpful in precise delivery dates of the baby as well as prenatal care also it could be helpful so gestational period it is a time period between the conception as well as the birth and during this during this time baby grows and develops inside the mother fetus the especially uterus inside the mother's uterus this fetus will undergo different different stages and this gestational age it is a very common term used during the pregnancy mainly to describe various stages of the pregnancy and it measured it measures in weeks like in this photo it measures in weeks 0 to 6 7 to 10 like that it will be measured in weeks and it counts from the first day of the woman's last menstrual cycle to the current date that means whichever the day we are referring so the time between all this you know like duration is known as gestational period a normal pregnancy generally ranges from 38 weeks to 42 weeks and baby delivery before 37 weeks known as premature after 42 weeks it is considered as post mature this is the normal period of you know like pregnancy in human female next this model why whichever this artificial intelligence model this model is created by organization that is Indian Institute of Technology Madras in collaboration with transnational translational health science and technology institute actually this institute is a part of the dbt india initiative garb ini program so we will try to understand this full forms and all these things so this garbini ga2 it is a first last trimester gestational age estimation model okay and it, this model is completely developed based on the indian population data now the existing models are based upon the european models and those European models are developed based on the fetus growth in European countries. 
obviously there is a significant difference between the fetus growth in indian subcontinent especially india and the european model so this garb so ini program is all about so this it stands for advanced so group for group for group for advanced research on birth outcomes birth outcomes birth outcomes india initiative and this initiative taken by department of biotechnology department of biotechnology its main objective of this program is to reduce to reduce various estimation errors related to gestational period and to enhance the prenatal care and to enhance the maternal and infant health care as well so regarding this we we'll try to understand we we'll try to understand various parameters we will try to use to judge the child growth okay those parameters also we'll try to discuss and the existing at the moment we are discussing about the hadlock and intergrowth we are using this model and this model is mainly based on the european database through this model actually through this model you know like around 2000 ultrasound scans been used in this model and this model is able to predict that means whichever the model we are discussing this model is able to predict almost all accurately around 2000 ultra scans that means it is giving a good accurate precise data regarding the fetus health let's see challenges with the existing models because we are developing the new model means obviously the new model will provide a more qualitative data compared to the existing model so what are the issues related with the existing model the existing model like i said earlier is mainly is largely rely on the western population estimation okay and there is a significant growth difference between the indian as well as the western babies because of this there are uh, issues are happening regarding the fetal care as well as the mother care as well next so this particular indian based indian based and uh, this particular program is very tailored to indian babies obviously it is developed as a better strategy for the public health policy and resource allocation now let's see some of the information regarding the institutions the institutions the the institutions which developed this ai model it is an autonomous institute of biotechnology works under the ministry of science and technology and this was established in 2009 in faridabad haryana this is a interdisciplinary this institute consists of teams from various fields of medicine science and technology next some of the terminology you have to understand with related to this particular topic this terminology is neonatal mortality rate it is a number of death of children below the age of 1 month below the age after the baby delivery so below the age of 1 month number of deaths per 1000 life birth that is known as the neo neonatal mortality rate according to national family health survey fifth survey it is around 24.9 and we would like to reduce it we can reduce it only by predicting the accurate this uh, health of the fetus next infant mortality rate it is a number of death of children below the age of 1 year per 1000 live birth nfh is 5 it is around 35.2 child mortality rate it is a number of death of children in the age group of 0 to 4 years per 1000 under 5 mortality rate it is a number of death of children under the age group of 0 to 5 per 1000 life it is around 41.9 and maternal mortality rate it is the mortality rate of the mother while giving delivery to the baby mmr is the number of maternal deaths during the time period during the delivery time for every 1 lakh live birth so here the standard we takes here is around 1 lakh previously we used the word 1000 according to nfhs fifth round it is around 97 and various government initiatives related to the maternal and fetal health care they are janani saraksha yojana it operates under national health mission and it links cash incentives to institutional delivery so this is mainly to encourage the institutional deliveries and that can be encouraged by giving cash incentives next pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan so under this a fixed day for assured and comprehensive and quality antenatal care free of cost to pregnant women on 9th of every month okay on the 9th day of every month this free cost of this testing will be done 
ప్రధానమంత్రి మాతృ వందన యోజన పోషణ యోజన లక్ష గైడ్ లైన్స్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద వేరియస్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఇనిషియేటివ్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ద మదర్ అండ్ బేబీ హెల్త్ కేర్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దాట్ నో లెట్ సి నేషనల్ ఫ్యామిలీ హెల్త్ సర్వీ బికాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో అట్ వేరియస్ ఇన్స్టెన్సెస్ వి రెఫర్డ్ ఎన్ఎఫ్హెచ్ఎస్ నో లెట్స్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ఎన్ఎఫ్హెచ్ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ సర్వే అండ్ దిస్ సర్వే ఈజ్ మెయిన్లీ ఇట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఫాలోయింగ్ పారామీటర్స్ సచ్ యాస్ ఫెర్టిలిటీ రేట్స్ ఇన్ఫాంట్ అండ్ చైల్డ్ మోర్టాలిటీ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యామిలీ ప్లానింగ్ మెటర్నల్ అండ్ చైల్డ్ హెల్త్ రిప్రొడక్టివ్ హెల్త్ న్యూట్రిషన్ అనిమియా and utilization of nutrition of both mother as well as the baby quality of health and family planning pro- uh, process so all these data will be given by nfhs and the objective like i mentioned earlier it give essential data related to family and health services regarding nfhs nfhs main target is to achieve india's goal towards the sustainable development goals and under the sustainable development goals goal number you know like sub sub goal number uh, you know like sub goal related to health that is going to be tracked by this nfhs and tell me students under sustainable development goals which goal deals with the quality health quality health the nodal agency for nfhs nodal agency is international institute for population science and this international institute for population science it based on the mumbai and it collaborate with the number of field organizations those field organizations will collect the data for nfhs funding will get i mean this nfhs will get funding from usaid dfid bill and melinda gates foundation unicef unfpa and ministry of health and family so welfare so far nfhs surveys so far five surveys have been done nfhs first second third fourth and the fifth one is a recent one we are discussing yesterday's video question consider the following statement poverty line estimation in india is based on income levels and po- now we are we are using mainly based on the expenditure level so it is wrong poverty estimation in india is carried out by niti aayog task force s right so answer is two only b okay now let's see today's question today's question is pick out the mismatched pair in the following pairs sperm's testis x ovaries pollen anther ovule somatic cells okay pick the wrongly matched one main question according to recent report maternal death rate in india is declining okay maternal death rate is declining is a good news discuss what led to such decline okay why it is declining also suggest some measures needed to further reduce the maternal mortality how can we reduce further towards a sustainable development goal as we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we mainly discussed about garbini ga2 a model and which models now we are using why we require a model specially developed towards indian needs then we also discussed about organizations behind in this particular model and some of the parameters related to the women and fetal health so related to this some important parameters also we discussed so this is a detailed analysis regarding the garbini a2 model i hope this video useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind